heterotrophs are those which are unable to prepare their own food. But then, how do they obtain the necessary nutrients? Unlike green plants, heterotrophs depend on other living or dead organisms for their food. These can be broadly divided into three major categories based on their food habit. These include saprophytes, parasites, holozoic organisms. Another major category we generally study includes the symbionts as well. But what exactly are these categories? Let's study each type in detail. Let's begin with the saprophytes first. Their name is made up of two parts, sapros meaning rotten material and phyte or phyton meaning plant. So are they rotten plants by any chance? Of course not. These are non-green organisms, for example, fungi. And they derive nutrition from the dead, decaying and rotting matter. That is why they are named saprophytes. So almost all fungi including yeast, moldy bread and mushrooms are included in this category. These organisms in their true sense are achlorophyllous. Wait a second, what do we mean by this? Well, it literally means organisms that do not possess chlorophyll pigment in them. Now the next question we have is how do they obtain nutrition? If they do not prepare their food and obtain nutrients from the decaying matter, then how does the process actually work? Have you come across the term digestive enzymes? Well, these are chemicals which are helpful in breaking down the complex molecules of food into simpler ones. The saprophytes secrete and release various digestive enzymes from their body onto the decaying matter. And can you guess what does this result in? Yes, the digestive enzymes from the saprophytes body will break down the complex molecules in their food. This food as we know is the dead matter around them. Once the breakdown is completed, they absorb the nutrients easily. This absorption occurs because the nutrients are dissolved in the water present around and directly absorbed by the saprophyte. This is how the saprophytic mode of nutrition occurs. Now tell me, are fungi the only saprophytes in nature? Well, there are some bacteria too which depend on dead organisms to sustain their life. These are also included in the list of saprophytes. Now that we're done with the first type, let's move on to the next type that's the parasitic mode of nutrition. We will get to know this type in detail in the next video.